really like chicken nuggets. Same. I wonder how we can make so many chicken nuggets. The Industrial Revolution. Okay, let's compare the Industrial Revolution to the Big Bang. It started off with small distinct parts like crop rotation and the spinning jenny, but eventually it all connected and the world we live in today came as a result. Everything we have today from mass produced clothes, to cartoons, and even humans, is a direct byproduct of the Industrial Revolution. However, the Industrial Revolution wasn't so great at the time. There was child labor, crowded housing complexes, disease, and famine. Those factors led to negative reactions, which in turn led to positive reforms. Before the Industrial Revolution, 80% of England's population was farmers. However, rich landowners began to buy the farmer's land and began creating factories for mass production. These two actions sprang the Agricultural Revolution. Okay, there. and the textile revolution. Which was later followed by the transportation revolution. Inventions such as the sea drill, cotton gin, and factories led to a surplus of goods in all of these areas. Although these inventions and innovations greatly reduced the time required to make certain products, factory owners still needed good cheap labor, and who better to fulfill this need than children? Children who worked in mills were usually from impoverished families and worked long hours with only one honest break in between. But children weren't the only ones being abused by their bosses. Adults who worked in factories, mines, and pretty much everywhere else were also greatly mistreated by their employers. They worked ridiculous hours for little pay in very dangerous locations. Understandably, this soon caused tension and dissatisfaction between employers and their employees. Factory workers soon began to band together and unionize in order to fight for better working conditions and hours from their bosses. After more inventions came into the picture, some adults began to fear that they would soon be replaced. As a result, they formed a secret group called the Ludus of Robin Hood's Cave, and with this group they began to sabotage the new machinery. The Ludus became enemies of the government, and this brought the government and industrials even closer. Some of the Ludus were captured, but they preferred to die with their cause rather than give away intent. Tell me, Father, can you keep a secret? Yes, tell me, tell me. So can I. <laughs> no! <laughs> At the same time that adult workers began to fight for their own rights, activists soon began to fight for the rights of children who had been forced to withstand the abuse and harsh realities of working in factories. As a result, the Cotton Mills and Factories Act was passed to lower the amount of hours a child could work and required that they had to go to school for at least two hours a day. Michael Thomas Sadler was responsible for multiple reforms concerning the safety and education of children. The reform Sadler was responsible for ensured that children under the age of nine would not work and that other children under the age of 18 were able to work for more than 10 hours. Reforms that followed gave children shorter work hours and even extended adults' work hours by having them switch shifts with the children. Other reforms were made for adults to also set a limit on how many hours and days they could work, 
along with a decent required salary. Soon, unions were formed to ensure adult workers had rights and weren't taken advantage of by their employers. The Industrial Revolution was truly a force to be reckoned with, with all of its new inventions, economic advantages, and passionate reactants. It's recording. Stop. Is that it? And to fight for their own rights. Newbie, please don't bounce your ball for a while. Thank <laughs> you.